Hi, my name is Ruben Alves, I'm from the Construct, and today you are going to see how to use the graphical tools in RDS. ROS stands for ROS Development Studio. If you don't know ROS Development Studio, you just go to this website, theconstruction.com, and click on this, this menu, ROS Development. Here you can do a sign up or a sign in. When you sign in, you will see this page. This is the initial page. I already have here some projects, my public private projects, and you also have here a list of of the public projects that are already prepared to run on the RDS platform. Okay. Uh, if you want you can create a new project I, I still have I already have here many projects that I have created before but let's create a new one just to let you know how it works for example let's create a project and call it graphical tools for example tutorial tutorial about how to use the graphical tools and let's create the project and okay here we have the project we now can just open and here we have the description okay this is the project you want to open we I don't want to restore my workspace so I click no if you click no we have this blank page so in order to show how to use the graphical interface we need a simulation for that let's open here a first let's open a web shell to run the commands for example we can see here was node list we don't have a ROS running we need a simulation let's run one of these simulations that are already ready to be executed Let's run this TurtleBot 2. We wait some seconds and here we have the log messages of the simulation that is being launched. In a few seconds we will have here the simulation. And with ROS node list we will see, okay, ROS is already run in the simulation as well. Okay, let me close in here this is this logs. Okay, here we have a simulation. If you want to to use the graphical tools, let's open RVs for example. Let's suppose if you check here ROS topic list, ROS topic list, we can see many topics and we see that we have a camera and you also have a laser so let's try to see this data on RVs so to run RVs we have to execute ROS run RVs RVs and press enter when we click it, when we run this command we see some login message but we are not seeing yet the ROS Vs and this happens because we need to open these graphical tools you come here on tools and here you will see graphical tools you have to click here it's connecting okay here no here is the simulation I think I okay it's in here if it says this invalid login I'll just click login again and okay here we have it RVs we have executed here and it is open here. Let me close again RVs just to let you know the procedure. We just run RVs and in this graphical tools the two the RVs is executed. So let's add here a camera for example no position image. Mm, let's add here a camera. Uh, if you think that this screen is really small, you can click on this button to maximize it. 
And even if e, if you maximize it, you think it's not uh, big enough, you can click in this button here on the on this button, and this graphical tool will open in a new window. For example, if you check here in a new tab, I mean we have two tabs here, two one here and other here, and if you click here, a new tab will be open. But for the moment, let's just add a camera he here, image. Let me check. Okay, here we have an image. We still don't have any image here because we have to select the right topic. So let's select here the topic camera camera okay we should start receiving messages now okay here we have it we can see here the the image that the robot is seen here on the left on this part let me restore this okay here we have the the graphical tools, here we have the simulation that we can interact and the web shell. Let's try to open another tool. Let me run this on background. Okay, let me run ROS run RKT image viewer. RKT image viewer is another tool to see images. And here we have the graphical tools. Okay, here we have RVs and the, we already have the selected the top the top key selected here. If I let's open this in a new window just to see in a bigger screen. Mm. Okay, really better no? It's bigger now. Let's close here. This when we open two for example, we have here the graphical tools and we opened in a new window, we have to close this one because we have this this connection because we can't open the graphical tools at the same time in, do in two places. So let's close here and use this in another tab because it's bigger. Let's add here a laser. Mm. A laser. Let me add here. So we can see the robot and we are going to move the robot and see and see what the robot detects for example laser scan and let me minimize this in the laser scan we have to select the right topic we can check here we have here the Kobuki laser scan let me close this and we have an error here, probably because of transformation. The transform is yes. We have to select uh, the right frame ID because there is no transform from the laser to the map. So let's select the base link. Here we already have. Let me change here. We have here the laser, but you can't see very well. So let's change the size here. 205 okay now you can see here the laser perfect now let's move the robot we have the tool the okay let's now move the robot and see let's run this on background if we see here the rostopic list we have here uh, a topic called common velocity. This topic, if we check here with the ROS topic info, we can see that the type of the message is geometry twist. This topic is used to move the robot. Let's move it by calling this topic. So ROS topic pub, we are going to publish on the common velocity topic and the message type is geometry twist 
geometry messages twist and tab each out complete now let's just rotate the robot let's rotate in just change the values from 0 to 2 and let's publish one message per second if you check here the graphical tools the image is like the same image and the laser is also in the same place now let's rotate the robot and see the results on the graphical tools on the graphical interface here on the simulation you can see that the robot is rotating already and if you go to the graphical tools we can see also here that the image is, is changing the robots rotating that's why it's it's not detecting anything now because we only have a wall in one in front well original originally it was in front okay now the laser is detecting again and the camera also is detecting as you can see here the camera here on the part left part and the laser on the center so if you will open here another graphical tool that is not mm, that is not RVs let's for example architect image view we can see that the image we can see the image in in another tool not only on RVs for example here we have it we can have a bigger image for example because here in RVs the image is, is small so now we can see here also with RKT image view really easy no? really easy to use the graphical tools here in RDS ok so I think that's quite it I hope you enjoyed the video if you liked the video don't forget to subscribe our channel we are publishing videos every single day and if you want you also can share this video and thanks for watching